Well, I'm known as the grumpy blogger. I'll write back the same longer. Please do me the ado and kindly view me on YouTube. Okay, folks. This will probably go up for, say, Wednesday of next week, because I think I've got one for Monday already loaded. I got one for Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday I'm going to make. And uh, by the way, I'm the Grumpy Vlogger. For those of you that aren't familiar, and uh, huh? Oh, it's Friday. That's why my son's home. Uh, I'm mailing out packages to a couple, two or three people. Two of them are my prize winners. One's coming to Claude. Claude, I'm getting mailed finally. This is Friday the June 7th, okay? And Indio, I know. Yes, yours is coming too. I apologize, but man, between the rain and the thunderstorms and the tornadoes and the flooding and the and just the fact I'm old and had them sitting there. I put them in the box ready to go the first night and then I couldn't find what I was looking for. Uh, anyways, I'm taking them as I speak to the, to the post office, so, uh, I'm going to make better arrangements for mailing stuff, but I, until I get that set up, I got to do it the old fashioned way, but you know, I don't know what's going on with my printer. It's just driving me nuts, but yeah, we've got some nasty weather hanging around us today. We've got some clouds that just look, they look nasty. And, uh, matter of fact, I think I want to put on just a pad air because it's warm right now. And, uh, don't need much, just enough to keep the, you know, because we got humidity. I mean, it's not exceptionally warm, but, okay. Uh, you're wondering what I was doing. I, I, I always, I always carry when I leave to go anywhere to do anything and, you know, just because there's so many nutters out there, you know, and uh, sometimes I get busy doing something and I get dressed and everything, and when I know I'm going, that's the first thing I do is I put my pistol on, and I thought, oh my God, I forgot it again, but no, I didn't. Uh, I don't always take it with me, but it's usually only because I forgot. You know, it's just... Just today's society, I never thought I'd ever, after I got out of the military, that I'd ever be in the position that I would carry a weapon again. I just, it just wasn't, other than to go deer hunting, and I hadn't even done it in 20 some odd years, so. It just wasn't something I was going to, uh, I was going to do, so. Anyways, let me try not to run that little gal over as I take stuff in to get mail. Guys, it's going in the mail right now. I'm sorry, I'm here. I'll catch y'all later, all right? Hope you enjoyed my show on Monday, too. Okay. Well, that was... I'm definitely changing the way I do things, but I got a... I do have a scale coming in, so that's good. And, uh... Okay. Uh, once I get the scale in, I'll be good to go. But I got a general idea of what it'll cost to ship the mugs and coffee cups now. So I can do it from home and print it off myself and yada yada, you know. But anyways, so by the time you guys see this, you should already have it because it's supposed to be Monday the 10th when this will get there. So with luck, you guys will have this by the time my show comes in. And... Uh, You'll see this particular episode, you'll see this particular blog probably on Wednesday of next week. So, uh, that being said and done, Rick, I hope you like the hat. That's not the one I intended to send you, but that's the one I had. So, I've been promising you a hat forever. I owe one, I owe a couple other people some things, and I will get them sent out to you. Just be patient with me, and uh, I'll get them sent out. <clears throat> I'm the world's worst about getting to the post office when I'm supposed to only go about once a month and that's only when I have to sometimes just once every three I mean the post office ain't but you know 
Well, you, you'll see in the first half, you saw in the first half of this video exactly how far it is to get to that post office, so, uh, it's not that, it's not that bad, and, uh, I'm driving through town just seeing who I can take off of my driving, but poor Judy, she slept terrible last night, she kept waking up <laughs> about every hour and a half, and then she wakes me up at like, I don't know, eight o'clock this morning she said man we've slept all day she says don't you think we need to be getting up she says i've stayed awake as long as i can and i said how long have you been awake but she'd had me get up and get her something like at five this morning and i said you haven't been awake yeah yeah she says i've tried to stay awake today what are we having for supper i said well i don't know i said what do you want for breakfast she says what do you mean breakfast i said it's eight o'clock in the morning she goes oh you mean it wasn't date? I said, no, it was not. So she got day and night mixed up last night for sure. And so I got an early, she let me sleep a little bit longer and then I had, she woke me up again, still thinking it was daytime. I said, oh baby, it's, it, it was, it's definitely daytime now, but it wasn't when we were sleeping, you know? So anyways, I got up and got around and everything was chaos and, you know, and then, uh, the guy that takes care of our property down there where our, at our lake lot he uh, he called and told me that uh, my neighbors next door were paying on my water bill because they use my water when they're there so they used to pay me a little bit during the summertime and that just helps pay for my mowing so we're good to go and uh, uh, I was paid up anyway so uh I think I was actually ahead by a little bit. Sometimes I need to have him give me an, an itemized bill because I don't know what he charges me. He just, I think he just comes up with it. He says, you know, how many times he mows it, comes up with the number off the top of his head, and tells me. Some summers I get by with paying a little, some summers he just takes me for all it's worth, but you know. It is what it is, folks, you know. He takes care of the property. And, I guess it's worth it because he checks on it and, you know, something happens around there, he lets us know. And, but anyways, I am off to pay, take care of some business, and then I'm coming back to get Judy what she asked for. She asked me at like 5 o'clock this morning to go over and get some Chinese food, and I said, they're not open yet. And uh, actually, it's about 6 o'clock. I said, I don't think they're open. They don't do breakfast, so catch you guys later. Hey, this is going to be a bit of an addendum to something I recorded and that I'll probably put up, uh, I'll probably put up maybe Tuesday because I've got some stuff I'm going to put up. Just a short addendum. I've got some video of what I thought were, were, were FEMA trailers that were put over here in a parking lot. Uh, it turns out they're not. That, that place where I took the pictures, that trailer park that I took the pictures of, the, the, the drone footage of, they actually belonged there. The guy had just bought those trailers and had people living in them when the floodwaters were getting ready to start rising and he knew that his trailer park, he told everybody who lived in those trailers, you're gonna to have to move, sorry. I can't afford to have these trailers replaced. And he had them hooked up and moved out, you know. And so he saved those five or six trailers. The rest of them are just gonna be a total loss, or most of them are. And, uh, but yeah, that's, they're not, they're not FEMA trailers like I thought. It turns out they're uh, uh, privately owned by uh, one of our slumlords here in town, and he took care of his own. So that's the way it is. Hate to say it, but it just is what it is. So, all right. So that's what that's all about. I'll let you know. Oh, this is just an addendum to that. Catch y'all later. And don't forget to subscribe or check out what's up here. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, check out what's over here. And what's over here? You be nice to everybody, okay? I'm the Grumpy Vlogger. I'm out of here. Bye-bye for now.